And how is your approach to Spider-Man different to what we've seen in the past with Spider-Man? Well, he was my favorite character growing up. I was a big comic book collector since I was 10. And, you know, we thought back to what it was, uh, uh, specifically I thought back to what it was that I loved about the character growing up. And I loved his vulnerability, I loved his youth, I loved the cock, you know, cocky nature of the character uh, in combination with an insecurity. And so we really wanted to find an actor who was much closer in age to a high school student, which is why we cast a brilliant, you know, Tom Holland, the kid is a really exceptional actor. Uh, but he embodies a youthful quality. He has, he, he marries an insecurity to a confidence, which makes him uh, at, at both empathetic and very funny at the same time. And also, you know, we were introducing the character in a Captain America movie, and we try, what we've tried to do with Winter Soldier and with Civil War is we, we try to take Cap and sort of ground him in the real world a little more, perhaps, than some of the other Marvel movies. It's, we feel it very much suits, like, his identity as a character within the Marvel Universe. And so I think we tried to do the same thing with Spider-Man and introducing him in this movie is, like, come up with a more real-world version of Spider-Man. Like Joe was saying, cast him closer to his real age. You know, make him feel like a kid and make his relationship with his Aunt May feel like a, a very modern, current relationship to people living in Queens, you know, uh, of, of today.